exciting for She Ball. That's you. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> you had like different titles in the film. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a great time and wonderful experience, and I'm excited to share it with the world today. Yes, I mean, this is your first major film role. This is huge. Yeah. And in basketball. Yeah. You see, yeah, I know. And it's like, I mean, playing since I was five years old to have that come full circle and it be a part of the film is awesome. I mean, that's the parts where I get a little emotional because it's like I did this as a little girl and I haven't played in so many years, but it was a wonderful experience. So in this film, I mean, besides the, the whole storyline and all the characters, basketball is a major, a major character aligned, you know, next to the protagonist of the film. Yeah. So how yeah. was that easier for you to get involved in the film or was that a little challenging the fact that you had the sport involved? The sport actually I thought it would be easier but that was a harder part for me. It's like it's not like playing in real life. So like I said there you could be there could be a thousand people around you playing a real game. And then when you're on set and you're doing it all the elements that'll have to align and you have to make a shot at a certain time and this person's doing this and that person's doing that, the pressure is on a whole other level. So it was it was definitely difficult for me to get through some of those scenes with that. And I was like, man, the acting is like easy for me. The, the basketball is a little hard and I've done this my whole life. So it was pretty funny. I was thinking about the entire time watching the film when you're actually playing, especially when you're one on one on one with one yeah. of the characters, I would have been like, oh, I would, that would be pretty like stressful. Like you just gotta make sure you do it right, get the, the shoot right. I, mean, I, was, yeah. I was thinking that way. Yeah, and it's hard to play like, cause I mean, we're acting. So playing like fake defense a little bit and doing things to make the things look right. Like the angles and everything, that was difficult for me to learn too because I'm kind of like balls to the wall, aggressive, let's go. And I had to kind of like, move certain ways so I'm like I look awkward I felt awkward but it didn't end up looking that way but it's funny to see the difference in actual real life and acting playing the sport which one one of the scenes that you enjoyed the most on the court because he had a few yeah I would say actually when we got into the actual game time of it um that was fun because there was a, a time where they gave us a little bit of time to just actually play the game and they were filming and play it out and that was fun for me because I could get in rhythm when you're when you're doing the scenes like I was saying where you have to make the one shot or something has to align with other people in order for you to get the shot up it was just that wasn't as fun it was more fun when you let us play a little bit and kind of got those action scenes and they were in real life yeah yeah so what's easier playing with adults or playing with kids <laughs> it's more fun to play with kids <laughs> I love kids I love watching them I love coaching them being around them the light and everything they bring to the table. It's just, I mean, kids are amazing. And, and I, anything I can do to inspire and uplift and be around kids, I would do for the rest of my life. So playing with them compared to playing with adults who just run their mouth and everybody's just fighting all the time when you're playing, I'd definitely rather be with kids. Now as an athlete, does is it really distracting here? Like right now you mentioned hearing people just kind of the mouthing part when you're playing yeah. sport. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm used to it because I've done it my whole life and the trash talk is what comes with the game. Um, and it also amp it like amps you up. It gets you going too. So, I mean, it's fun to have that competition and that competitive drive with each other and like little banter here and there. It's fun. But then you, you have stuff that like you can't allow it to get in your head. And that's where I know women, especially because I'm a woman, sometimes we let things get in our head when we're on the court. And when you do that, then you start playing badly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever found intimidation being a girl in the, in this in this sport? I actually feel better playing with guys than girls. So I grew up playing with guys until I was 13 and they pretty much kicked me out and wouldn't let me play anymore. And then I played with 17 year olds as a 13 year old girl. Um, so that was like, because I'd played the competition with men for so long, it, I had to play up with women. And it was just, I don't know. I think the game, because guys don't have the, the same type of game as women do. Not to say that women aren't great. Well, I think women are great athletes and we play better together as a whole women do than men. Men are showing off all the time. But when I was young, it just, it taught me to play harder and be tougher playing with boys. So I've always liked to do that. And I still have that now. I still think I can play against them, even though they're, they're going to kill me, but <laughs> I think I can. Well, you are coming in with the thick skin for sure. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You had to, I think in taking on this role, I had to have a thick skin. 
Now let's talk about the cast. Ugh. I mean, Katie Albert, I loved having her as one of my co-stars. She was my best friend in the movie and a real friend in life now, which was awesome because it's, it's one thing to play and act a best friend on the movie, but to also have a friend in real life, that that's incredible to me. And I love leaving the movie, having a friend that I think will be in my life for the rest of my life. And then also playing with Nick. Nick was super supportive, helpful, taught me a lot behind the scenes. Um, I'm so thankful to have him by my side. And Magic, she was fun to work with. It was her first time. So I felt like I was another mom to her on set. And that was fun to just have that kid and that bright light joy around set. Um, Cedric the Entertainer, super funny. DC Young Fly. Um, you guys are definitely going to laugh at them throughout this film. Um, Rebecca De Mornay, that she played my mom. Marla Gibbs, she was awesome. I mean, I can the list goes on and on. The cameramen, the showrunners, um, the art directors, everyone came together and created this film, and I just thought that was phenomenal to watch. Did it? Do you think it facilitated working with Nick as the co-star, a, a part of you, and then also part of the filmmaking part? Oh yeah, he did an amazing job. I mean, he kept everything balanced. And so like he would go back and forth from doing the directing, the producing, and then coming on set and acting with me. And it was very, it was seamless. I mean, he did an incredible job. He couldn't have done any better. What about the locations? Was that here in LA? Yeah, it was, that was fun because I got to know a lot of the people actually in the neighborhood. There was people in the neighborhood that kind of hung around our set and things and like I ran around and talked to them and, and felt it out and I know we were in a bad area and I I mean I didn't know that I was walking around like you know this is fun everybody's nice and it's awesome but supposedly it's one of the worst places in LA yeah um, well not yeah. the worst it just kind of has a bad fame but I think okay. that's that's changing little by little yeah I mean I had a blast there and I thought everyone was super nice I got along with people like I said and the house is around the surrounding area. So I was like, oh, okay, well, this is bad. I'd hang out here. This is fine. See, there you go. It's changing. Yeah. <laughs> With yeah. <you. laughs> so what did you have to do any preparation to take on this role? I mean, you already played basketball. Yeah. The basketball thing. Um, I played a little bit to like feel, I feel like your ball handling goes first when you haven't played in a long time. So I practiced a bit before the film started my shot. I'm, um, it always comes back pretty easily. I think most athletes would tell you when they haven't played basketball in a while, it's the ball handling that goes first. So a little preparation for that. The acting side, I'm more of a, I read through the script. I don't like to overread. I don't like to, to overact when I'm trying to learn a role either, because I just feel like it'll make you very robotic. Mm -hmm. So I do believe in going to classes and learning from people, but I also believe just kind of like reading through the lines, understanding who the character is, and then feeling other people out. When I can feel emotions really well. And so being on set with all of these other people, I would just feel their vibrations, where they're coming from, kind of understanding, and then like place myself within it. Mm -hmm. Well, to yeah. finalize, let's talk about how today, the release date. And yeah. I have but the excitement to be attending the premiere party later today. I know I'm super excited to see everybody again and just hang out and have a good time. I feel like we've waited so long for this to come out and for the world to see it. So it's kind of a time to just celebrate and enjoy each other and yeah, just really have some fun. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. I got to rush and upload this today or, you know, why would I yeah. wait for tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It was so nice meeting you. Likewise. Thank you so much and congratulations. And we look forward to seeing you in other roles. Thank you. Have a good day. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye.